For this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this crossbody tote bag. Here are all the pattern pieces and measurements you will need. For the interior pocket, it is 8 by 6 inches. The tote bag itself is 14 by 14 inches. You're going to cut two of those. And the shoulder strap is 26 by 3. You're going to cut two of those as well. The shoulder strap was pretty long on me, guys, after I did the 26 inches. So I suggest we do 22 or 23, depending on your height. Here are some tools I use in this project. This is a fabric rotary cutter, and these discs are just basically paperweights. They're perfect for holding down your pattern when cutting out your thick fabric or like slippery fabrics. I'll link everything in the description below. They are all available on Amazon, as well as the cutting mat. When using a rotary cutter, you guys wanna use a cutting mat to protect the surface of your table or desk. That way you don't cut into it. All right, for the shoulder strap, like I said in the beginning, let's change the 26 inches to 22 or 23. Let's do 23 inches just to be safe. 26 was a little bit too long for me, so if you're six feet, 26 will work perfectly.
right, so now that I attached the interior pocket, I can finally work on the tote bag itself. You're just gonna face the two correct sides of your tote bag together. As you can see right here, the two right sides are facing each other and you know, I'm just gonna sew down that seam. I'm gonna use my serger for this project, for part of this project, and then my sewing machine will be for like the final touches and all that stuff. If you don't have a serger, it's fine. Just do a straight stitch and then a zigzag stitch on the hem or on the edges so that it doesn't fray or it doesn't look messy on the inside. For this step, I'm just going to search the top of the tote bag. That way, when I turn it inward, the raw edge doesn't fray and everything is nice and clean. Alright guys, for the last step, we're going to assemble our shoulder strap together. Since we cut two pieces of that shoulder strap, we're going to combine them so that they can fit cross body. So you're just going to search that or sew those together. As you can see right there, that's the interior and this right here is the exterior. Then you're going to face the two right sides together and we're going to sew a seam straight down. All right, so for this step, guys, I just closed one end of the strap and then I'm just going to take a pencil or any object that's pretty smooth and you're just going to turn the strap inside out so that the seam is on the inside and the correct um, facing fabric is on the outside. So you're just going to do this until the entire strap is inside out, as you can see right here, and then I'm just going to pull it through and we will close that one end by just folding it onto itself and then just do a straight stitch across and that will close the strap. For this step, I'm just going to do a top stitch on the shoulder strap, that way it lays flat and it isn't too bulky. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to do a top stitch on the seam we just created. And then when I'm done with that side, I'm just going to go to the left side of the strap and then do the same exact top stitch on that as well. 